Hi, welcome to Organic Chemistry. My name is Dr. English. Today we're going to start looking at some organic reactions. Specifically, we're going to look at the basics of organic reactions, substitution reactions, and addition reactions. Basics of organic reactions. Reactions of organic compounds generally occur more slowly than do reactions of inorganic or ionic compounds. Usually, they only involve the functional groups reacting. So, as in the example below, where we have two amino acids coming together, we can see it's the functional groups of the organic acid here and the amine group here coming together in dehydration synthesis, where water is lost to form a peptide link, as discussed in the previous video. Here we see the functional groups reacting and not really the carbons. Now let's talk more specifically about substitution reactions. Reactions in which one kind of atom or group of atoms is replaced by another kind of atom or group of atoms. One type of substitution is known as halogen substitution when a halogen atom replaces a hydrogen atom in a saturated hydrocarbon. And the key thing here that you have to notice is that we will be working with saturated hydrocarbons, meaning that all the carbon to carbon bonds are single bonds. So in this case, we have ethane coming together with HCl. Now you'll notice as a product, we have the Cl right here, replacing one of the hydrogens in the original ethane. So this Cl comes in, kicks out that hydrogen, that hydrogen hooks up with this hydrogen, and as a result, we form H2. This is known as a substitution reaction. Let's look at an example. Halogen substitution involving chlorine and methane. So in terms of a word equation, we're going to have chlorine gas reacting with methane. As a result, we'll form chloromethane and hydrogen chloride. And I do say hydrogen chloride here as this is not assumed to be an aqueous solution. So when we do see that HCl, we're just going to represent it as hydrogen chloride. Structurally, this would be a Cl bonded to another Cl. Methane we know is a carbon with four hydrogens. Chloromethane is a carbon with three hydrogens, where one of those hydrogens have been replaced by a chlorine. And at the end, we'll have hydrogen chloride. The molecular formula here for chlorine would be Cl2. Methane is CH4. Chloromethane is CH3Cl and hydrogen chloride is HCl. Let's look at another example. Ethane reacting with chlorine gas to form chloroethane and hydrogen chloride. So we'll have ethane as one of our reactants reacting with chlorine gas to form chloroethane and hydrogen chloride. For a structural formula, we know ethane is two carbons with hydrogen surrounding it on all sides. Chlorine gas is a diatomic, and as a result of this reaction, one of the chlorines is going to come out and attack one of the hydrogens, and that hydrogen is going to come back and hook up with one of the chlorines. So we'll still have two carbons in our original hydrogens. Now we'll have a chlorine attached to this molecule, and our other product will be H. Cl. For the molecular formula for this, we'll have C2H6 plus Cl2 and then C2H5 Cl plus HCl. Now let's talk about addition reactions. The addition of one or more atoms designated by X to an unsaturated hydrocarbon, which is a big difference from our substitution reactions, at a double or a triple bond. As a result, multiple bonds are broken, unsaturated molecules become saturated, and they have a high rate of reaction, more favored here than in saturated hydrocarbons. So here's an example, hydrogenation, the addition of hydrogen to an unsaturated molecule. This requires the presence of a catalyst and elevated temperatures. The results are saturated hydrocarbons. 
Let's look at an example. Reacting with chlorine gas. So our word equation, we'd start with our reactant of ethene, chlorine gas. And the important thing to note here is that we're only going to have one product because we're taking ethene, which has a double bond, and making it into a single bond. So each carbon is going to pick up a chlorine. So this is going to be 1, 2, dichloro, ethane. So how does this work? Well, let's look at ethane. We know F is two carbons. E and E means we're going to have a double bond in between here, which means we're going to have a hydrogen here, 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 and here. And then we have chlorine gas. And we know chlorine gas is Cl single bonded to another Cl. So what's going to happen here is that this diatomic chlorine is going to come in and break that double bond, making it a single bond. So as a result, we'll still have our two chlorines. Now we'll have a single bond. We'll still have all four of our hydrogens. But now each chlorine is going to be added to one of the carbons. So what would this look like in a molecular formula? Well, we'd have C2H4, Cl2, representing our diatomic chlorine. And then for our molecular formula here, we'd have C2H4Cl2. So what did you learn? We went over the basics of organic reactions. We talked briefly about substitution reactions and briefly about addition reactions. Please know that we'll do a lot more practice with this in class. Need more help? Feel free to contact me. Have a great day.